here. Welcome, it's day 19 in our 24 days of tags. And here we've got something in gorgeous greens with some fabulous little baubles. I found this stamp set. This is from Julie Hickey. Gorgeous set of baubles here with such detail on them. Look at that. I've just coloured these. You can colour these baubles with Anything that you like. I use Distress Oxides here, but, you know, your coloured pencils, your watercolour pens, go for your life. It's lovely. I've used a very different edge on this this time, and we've got some gold splatters in the background. So, the colours in Distress Oxides that we're using, Twisted Citron and Lucky Clover. Lucky Clover is a really bright green and... Um, and I hope you'll stay tuned with me as I do this tag. So here we go. First, we're going to start with the Twisted Citron, which is this lovely sort of almost fluorescent green here. And we're just going to apply the ink with our smoothie. Find that out the way in various parts on the tag. So I'm just going to put a block of colour down here. And like we've done on one of the other tags, similar, with three patches of colour somewhere on the tag. There we go. That is a patch. And we might go for something in here. That's it. Lovely. I'm now going to come in with Lucky Clover and my other smoothie. Just give this a clean. And I'm going to bring this again up the side here. Just making sure that you get a nice even coverage of the colour. We are going to put some splatters on it to create a bit of extra texture. There we go. And I'm going to come back in with that twisted citron to um, smooth out that edge. That's it. Back in with my twisted citron here. Let's just, there you go. See? So it didn't really matter that we hadn't got a, a smooth edge. So when you're blending it out like that, you kind of need to press a bit harder to make sure it sort of all melds together a bit. Lovely. I like that. I like that. So the very next thing we're going to do is put some water splatters on it to create a bit of texture for our background so my trusty fan brush tapping it with something else a pair of scissors or another brush here we go we're going to let that set for a second on its own because you get a bit, bit of a different look if you let it dry organically so we'll just let that go for a second in the meanwhile, you can stamp and cut out your baubles. I just chose two from this set. I've got, um, which did I, this one and this one. But you can see there's a couple of sentiments in it. So what is it called? Let me just give you the name of it. It's the Christmas Baubles A6 set. And here's JH1074. If you wanted to get the same one. Now, right, that's dry. Lovely. Now I'm going to give it some sparkle with some Dragon's Eye um, gold. And this is a gorgeous gold. Um, I do try to put a link or the name of all the products that I use in all the videos on my YouTube channel. It's a full description there. 
I'm just going to give it a tiny bit of water to make it run a bit more. That's it. And here we go. Lovely. Look at that gold on the background. Fab. I'm just going to clean this off with some water here. Look at all that sparkle in the background. It's fabulous of that gold paint. And then I showed you how I did some of my reinforcers on the earlier tag. So I just used a bit of card and Lucky Clover, which I coloured with my smoothie. And, and then I punched one out. I'm going to pop that in the top of my tag, like that. Now, before I move on, I'm going to give that all a blast with a heat gun because I don't want any smudges. Now, as I was blending that, I've got a bit of green ink on the back of my tag. And if you didn't like that look, um, or if you were going to, some people write how they did it on the back of the tag. Alternatively, you can back it with another clean tag um, to get away uh, rid of some of that. Now, let's put our lovely, so I've stamped and coloured my gorgeous baubles. I might do this one, actually. Um, and there you go. You want to lay them out. Now, before I stick them down... I'm going to come in with my black pens. You can use a Posca pen. Um, I quite like these. They come, you've got four in this set. And I'm actually going to use the fine one. I'm going to kind of figure out where I want them to be. And hold it in place. And then I'm going to draw a strand right up to the top. You can see no ruler. You are just going to eyeball it because strands don't ever go very straight. Now, to get your little bow, that's all you're gonna do. Again, bows are not often perfect, and look at that. So again, a little loop there, a little loop there, and some strands coming out of it. And then I'm gonna stick it down with some glue. Loving this. And then I'm going to, one final thing, is I'm just going to go around the edge with my pen. Now, choose whatever type of edging you want to do. You can, we've done dashes in the series. Um, you can, whatever you like. I'd love to see what you come up with. But for me, I'm just going to do a bit of a wiggly line. Again, very free form here. Uh, a couple of millimetres from the edge of the tag. And then I'm going to come over with a second line. You can see, let's do it in a wiggle. And if it bumps on some of the gold paint, that's no worries. Because you don't want it to be straight. And then I'm just going to wiggle around it with the second line. not overthinking it look at that that's really quite effective i think but if you don't like it i'm i'm super excited to hear to see what designs you've come up with for the edge of your tags for this one how quick how fun was that and then i just used a bit of cord this actually, this gold cord, which you will have seen me use a number of times because I just love it. It's got this gorgeous sparkle in it. It's embroidery floss. So anything. Look at that. There we go. Today's tag. I'd love to see your makes. And until tomorrow. Bye for now.